The call has gone out for help in the fight against COVID-19, and Canadians have answered with typical grit, enthusiasm, smarts, and innovation. Amateur quilters, small businesses, big industry retooling, so many Canadians are making a difference. And we've made that a bit of a theme today as we focus on the good this Good Friday. This hour, we want to tell you about what another company is doing, another initiative to help some of the frontline workers. And I'm going to uh, say good morning to Lindsay Woods, who's the co-owner of Q Designs in Oakville, Ontario. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Heather. How uh, are you? I'm very well and looking forward to bringing your story uh, to people watching this morning. What does Q Designs normally do and make, Lindsay? Well, normally we make beautiful custom drapery and shades. You can see some of our drapery behind me here. Um, we ship them all over North America and uh, we deal with homeowners and designers. And what happened to Q Designs when the pandemic hit? So um, we're a very tight-knit family team. We were all uh, very worried about what this would mean for our business. We've been in business for 20 years. And so when everything started to unfold, we actually made the decision to close our business a few days ahead of the provincial order because um, we were concerned about our staff and their vulnerable loved ones working in our um, shop. So uh, we shut down. Um, we sat paralyzed for 14 days in fear and dread, and we just had so many questions. And... Sorry, I get so emotional when I talk about it. Um, and basically, after 14 days of grieving, um, we decided to roll up our sleeves and help because I think at the end of all of this, we need to be able to say that we did everything we could to help each other. So how did you decide to help? So uh, my mom and I uh, decided that we would make fabric masks and surgical caps and gowns for uh, second, third, and fourth line health workers. Um, I have some of them here. So this is beautiful drapery fabric. Oh, hold on for um, just a second, Lindsay, because we're looking at some yeah. of the pictures, but you actually have oh, some in sorry. hand. Now, that's okay. No, I'd like to yes, see what you have in your hand, too, and we'll show the other ones later on. But what do you have there to show us? Um, so I have um, masks and surgical okay. caps that we've been making. And um, we, ha we just had such a, a outpouring of support and volunteers now. There's a team of nine of us normally, um, and we're up to 25 people that are doing this out of their homes now. And so um, we're hoping to be able to uh, take some of the strain off the medical grade equipment that's not available um, and provide this product free of charge. And uh, we're just very happy to be able to pitch in and help and uh, put our effort to good use in this time where um, it, everything seems very uncertain. Just pause on that thought for a second, because I'm, I'm interested in the details. You have a network of 25 people now, sewing machines going full tilt to make these? <laughs> yeah, sewing machines, laundry doers, uh, pickup delivery folks. And so um, we're just, it's incredible what people will do um, when, uh, when things get really get tough. And we're really coming together, even though we have to stand very far apart. Yes. Um, and it's just been, it's been so overwhelming to uh, be able to do this work. And so, uh, yeah, it's just been really great. Is that drapery fabric I'm seeing, Lindsay? Are you repurposing yeah. your fabric? Yeah, so we had our very first drapery line was admittedly um, a failure. And I carried this failure with me for a long time. And we moved this fabric around our shop several times. And I just, I couldn't, couldn't get rid of it. And so this 100 yards of things that uh, we had... Um, up on our shelves has been converted into helpful PPE equipment. And it, now we're out of supplies, so we've had to start a GoFundMe. So um, we are taking donations to buy more supplies, and we're providing all of the labor free of charge. So wait a second. So there, there's a reason for everything. There is reason you're carting around right, that failed right. material That's around right. with you. And I know people have come together, and, and even people are dropping off fabric to you as well, aren't they? So you can work with that. That's right. And uh, somebody dropped off some on my porch last night because we ran out and she heard we needed it. She laundered it and dropped it off at 9 p.m. So um, it's really been great how the universe has really been delivering for us these last few days. So we've heard over and over, Lindsay, and you obviously have heard the stories, too, from healthcare workers crying out for protection. They need safety. They don't have enough supplies. You That's know right. that. And as your business uh, makes these masks and as you watch them being shipped out the door, how does it make you feel? It's incredible to be able to help right now. I think um, 
It just makes us feel so proud to be able to do something so good at a time where everyone feels like literally stuck in their homes, unable to do anything. And so um, I'm very proud of my team for getting on board with this. I'm very proud to live in a place that people are just the community I've built on Instagram has really, really stepped up. And so um, I really I just feel so grateful. Yours is exactly the kind of story we need to hear today. So, Lindsay, thank you so much. As we look there at you and we're looking at the pictures, too, of your team in action delivering those masks. And thank you for sharing with us this morning. Really appreciate thank you. it. Thank okay. you so much. I did want to say that uh, we do have a GoFundMe set up. And you can go to our Instagram at at Q Design Center if you want to donate. It costs us about 5000 a week and we're doing all the labor for free. Lindsay, thank you. Really appreciate it, as I said. And... Uh, Best of luck as you continue to help so many. Thank you.